Hi guys. In this tutorial, we'll see how the child component functions are called in parent component using view child. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to define a child component and then give a local variable by appending a hash to it and then use this local variable to call the inner functions of the child this way. That is the local variable name dot the function of the child. But the problem with this method is that this local variable is accessible only in the parent components template where the child component is defined. So if this local variable needs to be accessed in the parent components class, then it is not accessible. So this is the syntax for view child at the rate view child child component name then private variable name and which is of type child component. So we are using the same code from the previous tutorial where we have implemented a timer control. So we have an app component which is going to host a parent component named as countdown parent and then it will be hosting a child component named as countdown child and this countdown child component will be injected in the parent component using the view child method. So let's see the code. So this is the code from the previous tutorial in which there is, this is the parent component and this is the child component and using these two buttons we are firing the child components function. When I click on start the timer will start and when I click on stop the timer will be paused at that second. These two functions are called in parent component which are defined in child component. You can see the code. This is the child component which is having the start timer and stop timer function which is used to start the timer and stop the timer and in the parent component where we are hosting the child component we are giving the variable name to the child component and using this local variable on the click of button we are calling the start timer function and the stop timer function we are also calling the seconds displaying the seconds variable which is defined in the child component here. So as I said this local variable is accessible only in the parent template. If I want to access it somewhere here that is in the class of the parent template then it is not accessible. Now to overcome this we will use view child. So we will be creating a new component and that will be using the same code of child component we will be just using a new parent component. So let's create a new parent component which is going to call the child components functions using view child. Let's give it name countdown parent vc. Let's give a template. Parent calling child methods using view child. We will create a completely new class for this component countdown view child parent component. Now we will host the child component here countdown child which is this. This is exactly having the two functions for starting and stopping the timer. So we will also have to import the countdown child component but we have already imported here in the previous tutorial. So now we will define the view child. We will inject the child component here. So view child will pass the name of the class of child component which is this and then give a variable name timer component of type child component. So we just have to inject this child component in this parent component using this variable and using the view child function. So for this we have to import the view child model. Okay. We will define the seconds variable which will return 0. We will implement the ng on init function which will have this code. That is we will have the set timer function. So as you can see the 
child components function is injected into the timer component using the view child function and using this variable we can easily call the child components function and then assign that value to this seconds function which is there in this component. So for that we also have to implement the on in it. We will also have to import the on in it. So in other words you can see we can easily use the timer component variable to call the inner functions of the child component since the child component has been injected in the parent component using the view child. So let's have two buttons which will call the inner functions of this child component start and stop and we will give a click event. We will create two functions start and stop. Let's create a start function and the stop function. Now here in this function we will just write this that timer component dot stop timer. So timer component is the child components injected variable and this is the inner function of the child component. So in similar way we can do this dot timer component dot stop timer function also resides in the child component here you can see here stop timer I will display the seconds here. So in the app module we will have to import this new component countdown view child parent component and we will also have to declare it in the declarations. Now let's host this new parent component in the app component class here. So we, we already have the previous countdown parent component. We will just host the new parent component here. So this is the new component countdown parent VC which is this. So before that we have to import this new component here in the app component class. So this is the old code, this is the new code. So let's run it. So you can see here this is the old part and this is the new part. We have the parent calling child methods using a view child. And when I click on start button, the start button of child is called, when I click on stop button the stop button of child is called. So let's give some CSS. Let's run it again. Now you can see this is the old part, this is the new part. So in this way we use the view child model for injecting the child component in the parent component this way and then use that particular variable name for accessing the inner functions of the child this way which resides in the child component. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe, like or share.